Wondering where to go for your next trip around Malaysia? Let's head to Perlis Indra Kayangan. First stop is Ngulang Kopitiam. Here, the menu is so extensive. Wow, that was so good. Now, let's head on to Superfruit Valley Chuping. If you love fresh fruits, this should be on your checklist. While the Harumanis is synonymous to Perlis, unfortunately, it wasn't in season yet when we arrived. Nevertheless, you can still purchase the souvenirs here. We asked some locals where to find a good hearty meal for lunch and they suggested suri. Let's go! Here, they prepare about 60 dishes every day. We tried the gulai batang pisang, siakak bakar susu, sotong buncit sambal, and other delicious dishes as well. I have to say, the food was amazing. But, Perlis isn't just about its amazing culinary scene. It's also home to a breathtaking natural landscape. Right now, we are at the Taman Negeri Perlis. This is a perfect place to explore biodiversity and forestry. Then stop by Anna Burger to refuel ourselves. If you ever come to Perlis, please order the double beef bacon burger. It's delicious! Why? They make the patties themselves! Come follow me to Glass Cafe Gunung Medan. To say that the view here is beautiful is an understatement. This cafe grants you a 360 degree view of Kuala Perlis. Isn't it nice? We couldn't miss the opportunity to go glamping here, located right next to the cafe. On the second day, we wanted to try the coffee at Arau Kopi. If you're a coffee lover, this place is a must try. The view here is insta-worthy and the food is just as good. If you come to Taman Iko Rimba Bukit Ayer, don't forget to bring along your swimwear. The cold, crystal clear river water makes it an ideal location for picnics and activities with the family. <sighs> that was refreshing. After a cold dip in the river, it's only natural to feel hungry. So, we went to Kuala Hangat to fill up our tummies. Look at the variety of dishes! That's a lot! Oops, I think we overordered. But that's okay, we'll try to finish all of this. This is Gua Kelam, a popular cave in Perlis. But for this trip, we decided to explore Gua Kelam too which is located just nearby Gua Kelam. To enter this cave, visitors would need to put on safety helmets to prevent their heads from hitting the low cave ceiling. They should also be accompanied by a tour guide to the cave's complex layout, which may lead to visitors getting lost. After hours of exploring, let's head to Rohani Ikan Bakar, situated at Kuala Perli. You should know that the fish here is all fresh. Besides fish, there are other seafood choices on the menu as well. We are now at Nat Pokok Getah. In Perlis, Nat means morning market. 
So they call this market Pasa Pagi Pokok Geta. Besides food, there are also various goods for sale, such as clothing, fresh produce, dry goods, and many more. It opens from morning until noon. One of the unique attractions in Perlis is the floating market located at the JPS complex in Pengkalan Asam. The floating market operates every Saturday and Sunday and attracts both local and international tourists. Our exciting activity today is horseback riding at Kok Mat Stable. In addition to horseback riding, this place also offers homestays surrounded by cornfields, horses and goats. Interesting, isn't it? It's only a 10-minute drive from Padang Besar. For tonight's dinner, we've decided to go for a shell-out experience. Look, we've arrived at Arab Kitchen. It's truly delicious and the prices are so reasonable. You should try it out for yourself. So what do you say? Pack your bags and let's explore Perlis! <laughs>